Not many can be trusted with a task like this. Lucky we've got you. What's up, Epic Seven? I've had a couple of people approach me asking to make a video about the expedition changes and um, whether they're good or not, what kind of an impact they're going to have on us, and if we should be concerned and maybe giving Smogate our feedback, because I'll tell you, some of these changes are a little concerning. So let me pull up these changes real quick and we'll go over them fast. I'm not going to talk about stage one or stage two expeditions. The ratios are about the same and I don't want to bog you down with numbers. So we're going to stick with discussing stage three expeditions. Currently, if you do a stage three expedition, and by that I mean hitting somebody else's expo, it's going to cost you 18 stamina to enter the expedition. They're changing it to 30 stamina. That's a 60% increase to the stamina to do an expedition. But we're getting some benefit out of that too, right? When you do an expedition, currently you get 80 points if you're not doing an open expedition. You get the base of 60 and then 20 more, so you get 80 points if you're doing a uh, dedicated guild or friends list expedition. They're changing that to 135 expedition, or expedition points. This is going to let you clear the board in fewer entries. So you're going to spend less time staring at the screen watching your expedition complete. So that's in and, all, in and of itself is a positive. You'll clear the board in fewer entries, so less time spent. But as far as resources spent, 18 stamina works out, or 18 stamina for 80 currency works out to 4.4 currency per stamina. They're changing to 135 currency at 30 stamina. That works out to 4.5 stamina. It is 0.1 currency per stamina more. So although it is technically an improvement, I guess what I'm trying to say is the no amount of stamina you'll have to spend to fill out the bore is fundamentally exactly the same. It, it, there's, there's only a fractional margin of difference between old and new. So that's kind of a push. The costs to do expeditions and clearing the boards out is basically the same, but you'll be able to do it in fewer entries. So that's kind of a positive, I guess. Less time staring at the screen and the same amount of stamina cost to clear the expedition. So we'll, we'll go ahead and mark that down to the positive column. Now they are changing the UI. We've seen these UI changes before. They're all pretty good. I'm gonna call those a positive as well. So, so far we got two in the positive col column. Now let's talk about the Reforge mats. Currently, for 18 stamina, you get a 5 Reforge mat drop. They're changing it to 30 stamina, and this gives you a 9 Reforge mat drop. That is currently 2.8 Reforge mats per stamina, changing to 3 Reforge mats per stamina. So roughly a 2% increase to the Reforge mats. The next, and this is the one that's a little bit concerning, is the uh, modification gems. Currently for 18 stamina, you can get one lesser mod and one greater mod gem drop. They're changing it to two lesser mods, but keeping it at one greater mod. So what this means is for 18 stamina, you could get one lesser mod. Now for 30 stamina, you can get two lesser mods. That's a pretty good increase to lesser mods. That's uh, going from 0 0.055 mod gems per stamina to 0 0.066 mod gems per stamina. Ignoring the small decimal point numbers, that's still a 20% increase to the amount of lesser mod gems you'll get. But here's the thing, nobody cares about lesser mod gems. Not when you're doing level three expeditions. Lesser mod gems are usually sold as fodder to be able to get greater mod gems anyway. You can call this a positive all you want, but lesser mod gems are not where it's at. It's not what we're looking for. It's kind of a shame that level three expos even still drop these things. But the greater mod gems is where the big problem is. Before, for 18 stamina, you could get one greater mod gem. Now for 18 stamina, you now for 30 stamina, you can still get one greater mod gem. That's a big deal. That's a drop. It used to be about a 0.55, uh, or sorry, 0.055 mod gems per stamina. It's now going to a 0.033 mod gems per stamina. That's a 60% drop in the amount of greater mod gems we're going to get per stamina used in expeditions. That is awful. 
one of the big reasons to do expeditions is to get modification gems, and now you're going to get fewer of them. A, a lot less of them. A lot less of the good ones, at least. So, yeah. This is a, this is a bad change, and this is a giant L in the column, and it's such a big one, I would almost rather they not change expeditions at all. The little bit of time spent is one thing, but not being able to get modification gems is a big deal. And lastly is the gold per entry. This one's kind of funny. You get 12,834 gold for completing with your 18 stamina. You now get 21,433 gold with your 30 stamina. That works out to be 713 gold per stamina is now 714 gold per stamina. So you're getting one more gold per stamina with the new system. So, yay. <laughs> We'll call that a push, not a positive or a negative. Now, I know the big reason for these changes is people were complaining that it was boring staring at expeditions for hours, that there was no auto battling, or sorry, that there was no background battling for it, and it was taking too long, and this is their way to address that. They, they, they heard our complaints, and they did this so that we would have to do fewer expeditions to clear the seasonal board, and that's great. I really like that we're greatly increasing the speed at which we're able to burn through expeditions. Now, we're going to get fewer posters. That's one other thing I forgot to mention is fewer posters are going to drop, but that's okay because you're going to need fewer posters to complete the seasonal board. So this is good for casual players or people who are just stick at staring at the same fight over and over again, like me. This will let us get through a lot quicker. The gold's about the same. The reforge mats are slightly increased, but basically about the same. The lesser modification stones are, are better, about 20% better. The greater modification stones are worse, about 60% less or fewer modification stones of the greater type. And that is a problem. I think this needs to be changed so that we get two greater mod stones. If, mo if lessers were changed from one to two, why aren't graders changed from one to two? If they did that, everything would be on par. Ideally, I think lessers should be removed entirely from level 3 expos, but there you go. I will have a link in the description of the video to the feedback button where you can send Smilegate a direct feedback message letting them know whether or not you're satisfied with this or unsatisfied. I most certainly will be complaining about a 60% reduction to greater modification stones, asking that that be addressed and uh, also strongly urging them to remove lesser modification stones from the level 3 expeditions because it really should just be all graders. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps answer everyone's questions about the expeditions. I think largely they were attempting to make it faster. They were attempting to address our complaints that it was going too slow and they wanted to address that but they fell a little bit short on making the rewards match. They pre did a pretty good job at making all the rewards match across the board, but they really fell down on the modification stones. So, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.